Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. It's lovely to have you here with me. So how are you all doing? I really hope that you've had a nice Christmas. I know that it's certainly been different to what we were hoping for and different to Christmases in the past, but I hope that you've managed to have a nice time, um, however it was for, for you. We've had a nice Christmas here, it's definitely been different, it's been quiet, it's been calm, it's been lovely and things are a bit different now that we're now in tier 4, so we're effectively in a lockdown right now, but I'm really hopeful that that's not going to go on for too long. But I hope that you've had a lovely Christmas, I hope that you've had a nice new year and that this year brings you lots of happiness good health and that it is just a brighter year for everybody. So today I'm here with a bit of a, a catch-up video where I'm going to talk a little bit about what I've been doing over the last few weeks and a bit of a recap over last year and then I'm going to talk a little bit about future plans for 2021. So I always plan to take a break over Christmas however for one reason and another, things just really got on top of me in December and I ended up taking my break earlier than I planned, which means I had a much longer break than I planned as well. It wasn't ideal because I ended up taking my break right in the middle of the Christmas ornament um, sew along that I was doing on Instagram and also I'd started a Vlogmas series of videos here on YouTube and I stopped after the first one. So. First of all, I just want to apologise for that. I'm really sorry. I just, you know how it is sometimes when things just really get on top of you and I just needed to step away and have a rest and a break. And it has done me the world of good. I feel so much better now. I feel completely rejuvenated. I have my sewing mojo back and I'm really excited about what I have to make and share for the weeks coming up. So I am really sorry that I sort of just stopped and didn't really explain why. And the reason why I didn't explain is that I just found it difficult to know what to say and to to really put it into words and I am sorry for that. But here's to a new year and a new start and let's hope things are going to get better for everybody. So when I think back over last year, I definitely think that one of my highlights of the year, if not the highlight of the year, was starting this YouTube channel. This time last year, I didn't plan to start a YouTube channel. I was just thinking about releasing one pattern, but things have changed so much. And I started this channel in April. When I started this channel, I thought that it was just going to be a place where I'd just put my videos and then if anybody asked me a question, I could direct them to the video and then they could watch it and then it would hopefully help them. But this channel is so much more than that because of you, because of you watching my videos, your comments and your interactions with me, your support, it's absolutely more than I ever imagined and I just didn't think that would happen and I am so grateful for your support here. Thank you to everyone who's watching my videos, who's giving them a thumbs up, subscribing and writing me the most beautiful comments. I absolutely love sitting down, reading the comments and replying. I feel like I'm writing little pen pal letters. It's just so nice to have that community here and I am really, really grateful for that. So I hope that over the course of the next few months that I can create really useful, valuable videos that you're all going to enjoy. I have lots of ideas for them and I'm really excited about that. So thank you so much. So over the last few weeks, I've actually been doing some machine sewing, which is quite unusual for me. I haven't done much machine sewing over the course of 2020 at all. The year before in 2019, I did complete a quilt that was machine quilted. It was a log cabin quilt and I pieced it by machine and quilted it as well. But over the course of 2020, I think I made a mini quilt. Yes, I made a mini quilt that was machine pieced and 
that's all. I don't think I made much else. I did a bit of machine sewing with various projects, but I didn't do a quilt. So I managed to start one in 2020 at least. Part of the reason is that I'm lucky enough to have got a new sewing machine, which you can see here. It's an, in addition to the sewing machine that I already have, which I absolutely love and I don't want to replace that machine at all. But this one is a semi-industrial machine and it's definitely, having compared the two, it's definitely much better for quilting, which was why I bought it. My other one definitely struggles in terms of machine quilting. I like to do machine quilting to sort of get all the layers together and then do some hand quilting to add that hand finished touch to quilts. So I'm really grateful to have this machine and I'm hoping that that is going to make machine quilting much easier for me because it's definitely been something that I've struggled with on my other machine. And I'm excited to maybe learn some quilting with rulers I'm interested in that. I've seen some wonderful examples of that on Instagram and I'd like to give that a go. And I'd like to take up free motion quilting again and have a go at that. I've done little bits and bobs on small quilts, but I've never free motion quilted a large piece. So they're things that I'm just thinking about having a go at in 2021 and beyond. <laughs> But of course, primarily I am a hand sewer and I will be doing mostly hand piecing. But because I got a new machine, I felt like I should start a new machine piece project. And it is really nice to have a faster paced project uh, alongside the slower quilts. It's nice to have that balance because whilst those Whilst the slower projects are definitely all about the process for me and I absolutely love that, it is nice to see something grow a little bit quicker and to have something completed um, in a shorter space of time. So I've started a granny square quilt and it is a free pattern which I'll leave the link to down below if you're interested in it and I'm absolutely loving it. It's so much fun. So I'm creating these granny square blocks, which are like this. And they're made from two and a half inch squares. And I'm using Liberty uh, that I've been given from a lovely Liberty shop called Ava and Eve in Australia. And they have a Liberty Society bundle that they send out every month, which has 10 different Liberty prints in. And they send them out I'm lucky enough to be an ambassador for them and they send me their Liberty Society bundle every month and I started making some Dresden flowers with their bundles and I had I had a plan to make a quilt um, from that. I have a pattern idea in my head and I will probably still do that quilt because I'm really excited about that pattern. I may just turn it into a cushion to start with. I have a lot of ideas <laughs> but I just felt like creating something a little bit quicker so I decided I'm going to use the bundles, mix them in with some of my stash and create these granny squares. So I've done 11 of these at the moment um, so I'll just show you a few of them. I tried to mix the print so that there is a contrast between the centre, the next row, that row and that row and I've just gone for all sorts of colours. It's a real rainbow of um, prints and I'm really enjoying putting them together, going through the whole of 2020's bundles and picking out my favourites and mixing them with my stash as well. I've um, made my blocks a bit different to the how the pattern suggests because when they are trimmed they're going to look like this and then I'm going to join them together with sashing. In the pattern it doesn't tell you to cut the um, outside squares as squares it asks you to cut them as triangles and then join them up but I, w I just wanted something really really easy I was really struggling in the weeks that I started this and I just needed something really simple and straightforward to just help get my mind off things and 
I decided that I was going to just make just cut the squares join them together and then trim them afterwards so yes I'm going to have a bit of waste but it I just find this way easier and more more enjoyable more straightforward so I'm really excited about that quilt I'm going to try and do a couple of blocks a week and it won't take me too long there are 25 blocks in total so as I say I've got 11 done and I've got another one cut up ready so yeah, I'm almost halfway through which is really nice so I'll keep you posted about that project I'm planning to join them together with sashing and then to stitch in the ditch around with my sewing machine and then I'm not sure how I'm going to quilt it. I may do hand quilting to sort of echo the shape of the block um, or some hand quilting in the sashing but I will definitely be doing some machine quilting too and, and do a bit of a, a balance of the two techniques so I'm really enjoying that project it's really really lovely. Something I made before Christmas was this lovely needle book and it's I think it's called the Traveller's Needle oh, I can't remember Traveller's Needle Traveller's Sewing Case or Traveller's Needle Case I will leave a link to this below this is a pattern by the lovely Ali who is Arabesque Scissors on Instagram and on her website and I really love her patterns they're really well written and she needed some testers for this pattern so I was a tester and it has lovely little pockets here to keep things in and I love this side of it that there is a um, feature print here and then these are made of felt and in her pattern she shows pictures of putting pins in there and using it as a place to keep your pins but for me this is just the perfect place to keep needles and to keep threaded needles as well so that was a lovely little project it's a cathedral window on the front so that's great for putting your favorite fussy cut um, fabric there and she has a few cathedral windows projects and I've made them all actually there was a little like boxy pouch and there is a pin cushion and a drawstring pouch and they're lovely projects they don't take too long to make and they're really really enjoyable so I definitely recommend her patterns so thinking ahead now um I have some lovely plans for videos coming up I'm currently working on a hexagon cushion I've been using these pre-cut hexagons and hexi form and I'm making one inch hexagons and I've been joining them together and I'm in the process of putting that into a video to show that step by step because I've had some questions and requests for videos showing how to join hexagons together to make something larger and to talk about the quilting of that so I'm really excited to share that video and hopefully that's going to be next week's video if you watched my vlogmas video you will have seen that I was making some Christmas stockings um, so we made them to give them to a charity project that was collecting stockings and toys for people who don't get very much at Christmas. So I only managed to show half of the process of making the stocking and then the next half was going to be in the next Vlogmas video which didn't happen but I'll show you here now what I did is that I added the lining and I stitched it around the top and then left a gap in the lining so I could turn it inside out we also attached a ribbon between the layers as well. I had machine quilted the stockings as well and they were just really simple but they did the job and they felt really nice when they were complete. They were really soft and squishy and my little boy really enjoyed helping me fill them up with the presents and it was a really nice little project to do right before Christmas. So if you've signed up to my newsletter, you'll know that I'm working on a new pattern, which I'm really, really excited about. I can't show you just yet because it's still a work in progress, but I'm really excited that hopefully I'll be able to send that pattern out to testers in the next few weeks. 
and it should be ready soon, maybe by the end of January, beginning of February, something like that. So I'm really excited about that and I'm going to be restocking my shop with things um, over the next few weeks. I've been cutting fabric and making up kits again because they all sold out. Thank you so much to everyone who's bought one. It just absolutely means the world to me. So there'll be more kits, there'll be more needle book kits, there'll be more um, storage, hexagon storage basket kits. And I'm also um, preparing some pre-cut hexagons and restocking the hexiform. I have some glue pens that will be in the shop soon as well. So yeah, lots of ideas and lots of things happening for my shop for the next few weeks. So thank you so much to everyone who supported my shop. So we've had some snow here after Christmas and it's been really nice to go out on some snowy walks, wrap up warm. We've even bought a sledge for my little boy and he's had a lovely time sliding down the slopes and we've made snowmen and it's been really nice to get outside even though it is cold but it's been lovely and wintry. I'm not really a winter person, I really love spring, that is my favourite time of year um, but I have really enjoyed the winter and it's been really nice so I'm looking forward to a few more wintry walks and then hopefully it won't be long before the weather gets warmer again. So I hope you've managed to have some quiet creative time over the Christmas and New Year period and I hope that you're all doing really really well. Thank you so much for watching my little catch up video and I'll be back next week with a video, hopefully it will be the one all about hexagons. I'm trialling an earlier upload time where I am planning to upload my videos at 7pm UK time rather than 9pm because that was getting a bit late. <laughs> so I'm hoping that that will be a really good time for everybody. It will still be on Mondays, still be weekly videos. But yeah, just a bit earlier, 7pm UK time. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Take care. Bye bye.